Hello guys, what's up? This is me, Sir Ernest, and today we will have an example related to multiple expansion. Here, the problem read, in example 3.9, we derive the exact potential for a spherical shell of radius r, which carries a surface charge sigma equals k cosine theta. Letter A, calculate the dipole moment of this charge. And letter B, find the approximate potential at points far from the sphere. And compare your answer to the exact answer in equation 3.87. What can you conclude about the higher multiples? Okay, so first, let's try to uh, illustrate our problem. So if we have a spherical shell, okay, of radius r, so here, let's say this is your z-axis, this is your x, and this is your y. So if I'm going to choose one point along the surface, say this point, Okay, so here we define R to be this one. This is theta. And this is V. Okay? So you will notice here that when you say this sigma, this tells us that at positive z-axis where theta is equal to 0 sigma is k whereas if theta on the other side which is negative z that's uh, uh, pi sigma is negative k and if theta is equal to pi over 2 sigma is zero so what does it mean it means that most of the charges are along the z-axis so uh, some of the charges the positive charges will accumulate in this point while the other side which is here there will be accumulation of negative charges here Okay, so let me draw that. Here, there will be accumulation of positive charges. So this actually resembles a dipole, which we're going to look at later on. Okay? Also, at the xy plane, the charge is equal to zero. So this means that the dipole moment will be along the z direction. Since this is a surface charge, the magnitude of the dipole moment, P, which is usually uh, draw, uh, written as Z rho d tau, because this is a surface uh, configuration, this can now be written in terms of surface charge density, where in, Z, where in P is equal to the integral of Z sigma d. Okay, because we're looking for the surface charge. Now, from here, okay, so if we're going to, let's say, draw this problem in a two-dimensional uh, configuration. So let's say this is Z, this is Y, and the... Uh, out of the page direction is positive z so if this is our point this is r and this is theta and then r hat will be in this direction theta hat will be perpendicular 
or tangent to this line and then p hat well we don't really need p hat here so the dipole moment p can now be written as integral of z times sigma which is k cosine theta times dA in spherical coordinates if this is our surface this is equal to uh, sorry r squared this time this should be small r squared uh, yeah r squared sine theta d theta d phi okay so that means this can now be written as Okay, so you will notice here that if this is your z, okay, z in terms of theta and r, z is equal to r cosine theta. So we substitute this here. So this is r cosine theta times k cosine theta r squared sin theta d theta d phi which can be written as k r cube k and r are constant then this is cosine squared theta sin theta d theta times integral of d phi d phi range from Zero 2, it will be evaluated from 0 to 2 pi, while theta will be evaluated from 0 to pi. Okay? So this integral, we already know that this is 2 pi. And this will be negative cosine theta over, uh, negative cosine cube theta over 3. Okay? So this will now become 2 pi k r cube times negative cosine cube theta over 3 evaluated from 0 to pi. So this is equal to 2 thirds pi k r cube times 1 because cosine pi is negative 1. You cube it, it's still negative 1. And this is negative, so this is positive 1. Minus negative 1. Which is equal to 2. Okay, so this is... So the dipole moment P is now equal to 4 pi r cube k over 3. And the direction is because this is negative the charge, this is positive the charge, so the direction is upward, so this is Z, which is also reflected here. So this is your dipole moment uh, due to this charge configuration. Okay. Now let's move on to letter uh, letter B. So letter B reads, find the approximate potential at points far from the sphere and compare the exact answer with equation 3.87. So what you can conclude about this higher multiples. Okay, so the potential, the, the dipole moment P is equal to this. And we know that 
that the potential due to, to a dipole is equal to 1 over 4 pi epsilon not times p dot r hat over r squared okay so therefore this is now equal to 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught r squared times p which is 4 thirds pi r cube k z hat and we dotted it with r hats okay so you will notice here that okay if this is r hat this is z hat okay so if we're going to draw that this is r hat and this is z hat now from our figure this is essentially theta so the dot product between z hat and r hat so that's z hat dot r hat so you will notice that this is equal to cosine theta z and r hat have magnitude equal to one and then the sub cosine theta the angle between r hat and z hat so therefore this is now equal to k r cube and this 4 pi will cancel so what remains is k r cube over 3 epsilon times cosine theta over r squared and this is exactly as equation 3.87 so that means this is the potential provided by this charge configuration this is an exact potential so what does it mean it means that all other higher potential and even the monopole term all other higher potential contribution are zero okay so as we mentioned earlier the charge configuration that i showed you earlier okay we expect that this will act as a dipole because of the accumulation of positive charges near the positive z-axis and the negative charges near the negative z-axis okay so this in for a very for uh four points far away from the sphere this will act as a pure dipole okay so that ends our discussion on problem 3.30 I hope you learned something. Thank you for watching. I'll see you again in the next video. Bye-bye.